So you're helping so many women and their spouses now. Tell us about this event that you have coming up. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. And October 15th is observed as Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. So Wave of Light is just a theme around the world where at 7 p.m. you light a candle in remembrance of a baby in heaven. And so you honor that baby with whatever it is that you feel like you want to do with um, yourself as far as the mom or the family. Maybe they want to do something personal or intimate. However, we've moved our intimate, my family and I, um, our intimate ways of remembering our children to a community outdoor event and it's happening at the Saginaw Soccer Complex. Um, We have just activities for the children, for the siblings of those who have, you know, siblings in heaven and just, it's a safe, sacred space for families to come to be able to remember their babies. Mm -hmm. We have a reading of the name ceremony because their names matter and they are still our babies and they're precious and important to us. So we say their names. We actually um, stroll through 50,000 lights that my wow. daughter and some volunteers and I have wow. created these light clusters and uh, we have memorial signs and loving memory of babies who um, have their names sponsored. But it's just a wonderful way for the community to come together and to support bereaved families and finally allow some of them who actually may have never honored their babies or uh, memorialized them to finally have a time and a space yeah. with others who understand them to be able to come together and do this publicly. Yeah. And last thing I really have for you is, can you share what kind of message you would like all of those families to walk away with when they attend your event on the 14th? For any family who've experienced, you know, losing sure. the loss of their baby, um, those families who will come to our event next Saturday, I just want them to know that they are not alone. Mm-hmm. And that they can come out on the other side of their experience with knowing that there is hope, that they can still live a life of hope, expecting something good to still happen. Um, We don't know why these things happen, but I know that um, as a believer that God has a purpose Mm -hmm. and he has a plan for everything that he does. And so for myself, I was able to um, just seek him and say, "Okay, what is it that you want from me? What can I do? And so my children actually live on through Keys of Hope. They live on through Wave of Light anytime I'm supporting other families. And I want these families to know that their Mm -hmm. children still matter, that they still can live on through them and that it is okay to to share your experience. It's okay right. to talk about your feelings and how um, this experience has shaped them into the person that they are. They don't have to continue suffering in silence or living in silence because yeah. there is a loving, very loving community available for them. But I just want them to know that they can still have hope and that there is healing available to them. Yeah, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure learning all about your organization. One thing I will say, you are definitely blessed and the Lord is blessing you through, you know, sending that blessing through you to send to everyone else. So, you you know, we all appreciate what you do. So thank thank you you so so much. much.